Now here are part two of my MGM VHS and DVD collection. I'm going to go over teams that have something to do with MGM. First are my Orion tapes, Orion home video tapes. <coughs> Beginning with The Couch Trip, starring Dag, Ryan Walter, Matthau, Charles Grohn, and Donna Dixon. This is an EP mode release, SLP mode release. It's got the, uh, Lid on there and the red ink label. It doesn't got a print date there, and that's got the um, most of Orion's tapes don't have print dates, by the way. Um, uh, except for the rare circum, except for rare circumstances, at least as far as my collection is concerned. Uh, this tape has the uh, weird death where during the end credits it just randomly fouls up and then it suddenly stops and goes to straight to static. Uh, I hope to get the original SP mode tape of that scene if that error is common or if it's just unique to this tape of it. Next one is uh, Dominic and Eugene with uh, Tom Hulse, Ray Leona, and Jamie Lee Curtis. This tape is from 1989. Next one is uh, Bull Durham with uh, Kevin Costner and Susan Sarandon on uh, again a Ryan on video. This tape is from 1989. Here's the tape itself. It's got a Blockbuster sticker on there, but there's no Blockbuster to be on the on the packaging. And it's got a whole main end label down there. Next tape is uh, Ain't Man Out, the scandal that rocked the nation, apparently. I haven't seen this one. It's, a, it's, a, it's supposed to be some kind of sincere baseball movie, so I'm going to have to give it a watch at some point. And this uh, tape is from 1989 again. Next comes Dirty Run Scoundrels with Steve Martin and Michael Keane. This is directed by Frank Oz, of course. And uh, he was the guy who performed Fozzie Bear in the Muppets. Among other Muppets, he performed Fozzie Bear, which uh, may account for why this is a. Uh, Particularly wacky comedy. It's got the uh, warning down there. This is a protective label. If tamper with customer, must purchase this tape. Uh, next tape is uh, Mississippi Burning with Gene Hackman and Willem Dafoe. America's most talked about and acclaimed motion picture. This is a tape from 1989. This is a very good film, but. Uh, it's also one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. You have to be in a particular kind of mood to want to sit through it in its entirety. And uh, I've got a couple of copies of Navy Seals here. This is the uh, one from the living room shelf. This is, I think, the original printing. It's from 1990. This one comes from uh, Wayne's World, Wayne's Video World, uh, which I, which I'm pretty sure didn't survive the film Wayne's World. Now uh, this is the other copy. This one's in uh, SLP mode. So you can see because I got the uh, red light on there and the red label. Uh, this was printed January. Printed, uh, what's the. 
November 22nd, 1994. Next tape is Heart of Dixie, when the Old South collided with the New. It's a previously viewed sticker there. This is a tape from 1990, again. See where it came from. I have no idea where this came from. I, I think there was a sticker down at the bottom. I remember seeing a sticker down at the bottom that said what store it was from, but I can't remember anything about the sticker. I don't know. That had the tie on it, and I think some reference to wherever, wherever the hell it came from. I think it's down here. Oh yeah, this came from uh Yeah, this came from Blue Box Video in uh Louis Bird, North Carolina. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in there. Put that one there. Next I have an uh Nelson Entertainment tape of uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I put it in here because it's actually in the Orion catalog numbering sequence and the formatting is a bit similar. This one is a this one of course is a this one's a, a pretty good teen county. Actually liked it. And this has a preview for Prancer at the beginning. Next tape is uh, She Devil. Uh, we're back on the like regular Orion stuff now. This is uh, She Devil with Metal Street and Roseanne Barr. The gr story of the greatest evil known to man, his ex wife. This one doesn't have anything at the top for some reason. And this uh, tape is from 1990. Next tape is uh, Madhouse. The bad news you have, the bad news is you have house guests. There is no good news. This is a uh, tape from 1990 again. It's got previews for *The Last of the Finest* and Navy Seals on it. I think Orion closed captioned the previews for their tapes, which is sort of interesting. Uh, this came from Family Video. That's their sticker on the side. Then I have uh, The Last of the Finest, starring Brian Dennehy. When the government planned to trade drugs for arms, they forgot one thing, an honest cop. This is a tape from 1990, again. It's an SLP mode, and it's apparently, it apparently purchased the Sabres at some point. Uh, this was printed on May 3rd, 1995. I have a couple of copies of the Orion Tape of the Signs of the Lambs. This is the, uh, well, the approximately original pressing there. This, is in 19, this was released in 1991. Uh, certainly it's got no print date there, so definitely not any one tape. And this is an SLP mode copy. Print date is July 13, 1994. Then I have The Dances with Wolves, seven Academy Awards, Clean Best Picture, Director, Cinematography, Editing, Screenplay, Original Score, Best Sound, Best Film Editing. So this was a very highly awarded movie. And this apparently was premium. This came from premium. I have no idea if premium video is uh, where it was rented from or where it was recorded. Um, anyway, this got a little card in here. It says, We recommend that only your VCR be used to rewind this tape. Use of some of the separate high speed video ro tape rewind machines may cause damage to the tape. 
This actually has a sticker label on it. And uh, let's start printing on it. Yeah, there is uh, August 4th, 1992. Next one is I don't have any original FX, but I have FX2 The Deadly Art Evolution. There's a T from 1991 again. And, uh, it's obviously also an SLP motif. It's got a sticker label again. And it was printed on uh, May 3rd, 1995. The next one is Cooley High, uh, featuring a dynamic Motown soundtrack. It's actually a very good film from uh, 1975, I think this film came out in. Yep, and this tape is from 1991 again. Yeah, red label and lid on it. And it was printed on September 8, 1994. Next one is another good film if you haven't seen it. Very good film. Uh, the Little Man Tate with uh, Jodie Foster and Diane Weist. This is a tape from 1991 again. Or 1992 this time. Then I have My Mother's Castle, a film by Ames Robert. It's in French with yellow English subtitles on it. And this tape is from 1992 again. Print date is November 6, 1997. So this is a linear printing. Next tape is uh, Article 99 with a uh, key for Sutherland and Ray and Leota. This is a Ryan Home videotape. 1999-92 again. The purchase from Blockbuster on February 5th, 2002. And this opens from the back, of course. For whatever reason, I have no idea why. Next one is Love Field with uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Their life began when a world fell apart. And this is a team from 1993, I think. Yep, 1993. a Canadian copy. It's got the uh, a gold ink label on it and it was printed on the 137th day of 1993. That's how the Interpol warnings in the beginning. Next one is a Vincent Price collection tape. The Abominable Dr. Fives, digitally remastered of course. This one has a long preview for the Vincent Price stuff on it at the beginning. It says a dark sticker label on it. I looked under there. It's actually another copy of the Abominable Dr. Fives that's under it. Uh, it was printed on um, May 11th, 1994. And now I have the uh, embassy tapes that I have. I don't have that many, but uh, here are the ones I do have. First one is the Willie Nelson special with special guest Ray Charles. Willie and Ray team up in the incredible this incredible musical tree. This tape is from 1984. I tried uploading the full tape of it once, but it got blocked for a while on the uh, basis of it including the, the number of Spanish, seven Spanish angels there. So I need to get the fully uploaded. 
and uh, I checked under the end label, there is no print dates under it. And this comes from Duke's uh, a video, which has these warnings there. Do not expose teams to sunlight, extreme heat, or cold. Do not expose teams to moisture or humidity. Do handle with care. Please rewind this tape. There's a weird hyphen for the rewind for some reason. Oh. I'm trying to get the tape back in. Let's do that. There we go. And the next one. Is this a Spinal Tap? Which is a real deal tape, apparently. And this contains previously unreleased theatrical material. The supposedly familiar how whole video I see on MTV. Having mental memories. The unforgettable greatest hits commercial that could not be suppressed. This is a, a very, very good film. A great, great movie from Rob Reiner. One of the best there ever was of him. Really have to give it a watch if you haven't already. Well, it's it's one of the funniest movies ever made, I think. This has an end label there. There's no, no print damage, right? I checked. Next, I got the uh, Sure Thing, Rob Reiner's new romantic comedy. This one stars John Cusack, Daphne Sinica, and Vivica Underforce. This is an uh, embassy uh, tape from 2000, 1985 this time. I was actually talking to check it. I couldn't do the opening photo now. Yep, it's copy protected. It says, encoded with anti-copying process macrovision. To ensure best play, your VCR must be directly connected to your TV or monitor. User two or more VCRs linked together could result in distorted playback. There's the tape for itself there. It's got an end label. And this one was printed on... July 31st, 1985, I think. That sticker fell off. Next one is uh, the, a chorus line, the movie, with uh, from Richard Attenborough. This is a tape from 1986. And there's the tape itself. It's got the end label. I feel some of it to reveal the print date. Which is... March 27th, 1986. This comes from Video Galaxy. I have no idea where that is. And the uh, Sure Thing tape is from Future Video in Melbourne, Florida, which is, I think, a suburb of Orlando. Next one is uh, The Trip to Battleful from uh, Island Pictures. Uh, and this one's Geraldine Page, the Academy Award for Best Actress. Nineteen eighty six again. Uh, and it's actually got the Nelson Entertainment label on the tape. This one, uh, I checked underneath the end label for this one. This doesn't have a print date. Uh, it's a 1986 tape of The Lion in Winter, which is another great film if you haven't seen it. It's got a Pierre O'Toole and um, Catherine Hepburn. And the tape is from 1986. As I said. There's the end label of the tape, and there's the top one. <laughs> Next one is uh, the Golden Seal, a Samuel Bowen Home Entertainment tape uh, through uh, Embassy. This one's from 1987, so it's definitely among the last. Let me go 
release from Nelson. Glad to see. Right there. And there's the end label. Once again, checked under the end label and found nothing under there. Next one are a couple of Samuel Goldwyn tape copies that I have of Waddle & Heights. I'll start with the first one. These are from the classic collection, of course. This is from 1986, I think. Yeah, by, oh, 85. Alright. I'll show you the tape there. And here's the... And label. Here's another the other copy of it, which is. A, I'm gonna try to get it out. This one has a pink sticker label on it. Uh, no purple text on the label. And label is practically identical, and these are these on the front day at the bottom. This one is a. Uh, a whistle Down the Wind, the classic collection tape with Emily Mills and Alan Bates. And uh, this one is uh, a Janus film in the classic collection. Purchase and Blockbuster on mm, May 7, 1998. Not in particularly good condition in this one, but it's. This is actually Nelson Entertainment reprint. As you see there. And finally, oops, at least the last of the Nelsons I have, is the Bulldog Drummond Escapades double feature with uh, Beaumont Dr Bulldog Drummond Escapes and Bulldog Drummond Strikes Back. Uh, starring Ray Milan and John Barrymore. The 1987 tape. And label. Once again, I check no printing under it. Next one is uh, the Graduate or Nelson Entertainment tape, the movie that became a legend. Bunch of like regular Nelson tapes now. And this is a 1987 release. Next one is uh, When Harry Met Sally. Can two friends sleep together and still love each other in the morning? A uh, new comedy by Rob Reiner. This is a tape from 1989. I think this is the first Castle Rock movie to be made. This is printed on December 27, 1990. Next one is uh, The Moderns. Paris 1926, with forgery, adultery, and deceit, what else, what could be more modern? Uh, this actually comes in a very interesting sort of case that's been cut down, of course, but uh, you open it up and you get another cover to the tape there. Paris 1926, there was nothing more modern. And this is an Alan Rudolph film. And this is a T from 1988, I think, yeah, 1988. This comes from the warehouse. And this is a T file, I'll show it to you. Put it on, uh, November 10th, 1988. Then I have The Princess Bride, from Rob Reiner film. Uh, my, don't think my copy has an ad for uh, uh, Nestle Chocolates on it. I could be wrong, I have to pop it in again. But um, this is a... Uh, most copies of it do. And this is a great film. One of my all-time favorite films. Absolutely. 
Must be if you haven't seen it. And then the last one is Wretched the Third, a uh, classic collection tape from the Genesis collection again. This is a 1987 release on uh, Nelson Entertainment. It's got that label there. And now I'll show you this uh, shelf that I have all the uh, reorganized MGM UA stuff stored in. Um, I will show you my MGM DVDs from it. First one is Midnight Cowboy. This is a 1998 DVD. It's a very early one. It's got the uh, Experience MGM DVD thing in there. And it has both the white screen and full screen size, because apparently they can't couldn't bother showing the uh, white screen side, because uh, apparently it's a double sided desk. It's, it's got the little thing with notes in it, and a white screen standard side, and there's a scene selection card. Next one is a really funny film if you've seen it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, this is a, a fish called Wanda. 1998 release. Once again, widescreen standard size. It's got pages full of production notes. Uh, the widescreen standard size there. And uh, that's the scene selection card in the back. And the widescreen standard size. Next one is a really good film from 1949. This is the original 1997 DVD of it. The only MGM DVD I have in the snapper case, and it's uh, Adam's Rib with uh, Spencer Tracy and Adam Catherine Hepburn in it. This is a very pretty film. Really good film if you haven't seen it. It's got the scene selection card, and there's a small proof of purchase down there. Next tape is uh, War Games. DVD is War Games with um, Matthew Broderick, Daphne Coleman, John Wood, and Ali Sheedy. There's a DVD from 2005 of this particular printing of it. But it's got the original MGM logo inside there. DVD inside. Next one is Hackers. On uh, DVD, this is a DVD from 1998. And uh, it's got the original theatrical trailer, and it's this still has the book in there. Lots of nice notes and the scene selection card in there. There's the disc. Next is uh, Run Silent, Run Deep with Clark Gable. And Burke Lancaster. This is a DVD from uh, 2005. Once again, we have a double sided disc in our hands there. Next one is um, Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield. This is a DVD from 2000. This has uh, the collectible book and the original trailer in there. Open is only about four pages long. And there's, there's a scene selection card in the back. That's the supposed to be a juxtaposition of the widescreen standard side. The widescreen side uh, is not very well transferred at all. The uh, it's uh, cuts off the writing crest. It's a uh, it's uh, obvious that they took a took they took a full frame print of this film and just slapped back black bars at the top and bottom of the screen. Uh, which is especially horrendous when you get to the writing credits where they cut off the name of poor Harold Ramis. But luckily I got better at transferring this in widescreen later on. I did a better widescreen transfer a bit later. Next one is um, Spaceballs with uh, Mel Brooks, John Kenny, and Rick Moranis. 
There's a 2000 release. And this kind of a white, double, another double sided disc with the white screen and full screen sides there. Next is Mr. Mom with uh, Michael Keane and Terry Gar. This is a 2000 release. And it's got the scene selection card and some production notes inside. This is the stereo release. This is all right film. This is a really good, very good film. Um, uh, this is a great film. Spinal Tech in uh, special edition DVD form. This is from 2000. Great film if you haven't seen it. Next is uh, Dr. Fives Rises Again from the Midnight Movie series. In 2001 release with the original theatrical trailer on it. There's the disc. Next one is City Slickers from the Contemporary Classic series. This is from uh, 2001. It's got the original theatrical trailer on it. This is slightly out of the hub there. Uh, another comparison between white screen and standard science, but this time both of the. It's just the white screen style on here. Next one is uh, Rob Lowe and Youngblood. From 2001 again. It's got the uh, original theatrical trailer on. I have Lightning the White Style here with uh, Mickey Rooney, uh, Susan George, and Isabel Yorka in it. And this film's obviously a. Uh, uh, this is a uh, 2004 DVD. This is a Canon film. This is the Princess Bride, Rob Reiner film. Great one. I, I caught the MGM DVD logo for this one at some point. Let's go to the uh, uh, documentary, commentaries, exclusive footage, shot during the making of the movie, three featurettes, and uh, more. And it's a widescreen. I put this in the PlayStation case for whatever reason. Next one is uh, The Greatest Story Ever Told. A George Stevens production. This is a release from 2004. And this has the. Uh, this has. Uh, well, the extras are all specifications, apparently. No legit extras on here. Next one is The Last American Virgin. There's only one thing left to lose. And this one is on, uh, uh, this is a 2003 DVD, it's a Canon film from 1982, and, uh, this one has a, a, a soundtrack replacement. According to IMDb, they took out one of the songs, uh, they took out a Human League song and replaced it with the uh, playing of a Devo one on the soundtrack for this DVD and it's like that for digital other digital prints as well. Uh hope to get the original MG on book box so I can hear the soundtrack for this as intended. Alright, I'm going out of my uh my uh, main DVD shelf for a bit to show you three DVDs that I have also. Rody nineteen eighty United Artists film uh starring Mithov uh, this is a completely misleading. Uh, anyway, this is a 19, 1980. Uh, 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 the cover is completely misleading. This is actually a film of um, a uh, Texas roadie who actually, a uh, Texas boy who actually takes a, a young girl up to New York uh, to uh, marry Alice, to uh, see Alice Cooper. Yep, that's what the plot description is about. Uh, but uh, the cover 
doesn't, you wouldn't guess that from reading the front cover, looking at the front cover. You have to go to the back to find out what it's about, um, to get a correct analysis of what the film is about. Uh, so this is a very misleading cover. Uh, I'm, uh, and then Shop Factory, I think, put this out on DVD again. They actually had the correct cover on it, uh, a more accurate representation of what the movie's about. Uh, they used the original theatrical poster, of course, but uh, still, the Shaw Factory cover for this was more accurate than was uh, was a lot more accurate description of what the movie had a far more accurate description of what the movie's about than the cover of this. Uh, well, enough of my rambling. This one has a uh, again a widescreen and a standard size. Standard side. Uh, this is the most recent, one of the more recent double sided DVDs that were released from MGM, uh, widescreen and the standard side, because, you know, MGM DVDs and the, you know, of course, MGM DVDs were, um, it, you know, because, uh, and they showed it like this, because, uh, CRTs were still an ongoing concern in, uh, what was this release? 2003 on DVD. And the next DVD is The Saddest Music in the World, Isabella Rossellini, Mark McKinney, Maria Maderos, uh, David Fox, and Ross McMillan. Love, Politics, Beer. This is an IFC Films DVD from 2004. And it's property of zip.ca, apparently. I have another MGM DVD in the living room shelf. We'll get to that later. But now let's go back into the uh, shelf where I keep all my main MGM DVDs. Uh, and the next one is... These next five are all... Four are all uh, DVDs of the Pink Panther movies that I have on DVD. These are four of the Pink Panthers. Uh, so this is... Uh, and these all are the ones that star Peter Sellers. Yeah. Uh, him and Blake Edwards uh, and Henry Mancini and uh, Herbert Law and Burr Qualk made the Pink Panther movies for me. These are... Uh, these were... And uh, the Pink Panther movies are just not the same without those people, any of those people. And then, so this is a shot in the dark. Uh, Hollywood Video Rental. My only DVD to be rented from Hollywood Video, I think. This is a 1964 film. The second in the franchise. I don't have Inspector Clouseau, but I'm not interested in buying the DVD of Inspector Clouseau, the one with Alan Arkin in it, because, uh, well, for me, Peter Sellers definitely owned that role. Uh, play that role to the hilt. Um, to too much of a hilt to for me to want to see it played by another actor. <laughs> Next, I have a uh, uh, Pink Panther Strikes Again. As long as the I like how all these have the pink have a pink sidings for the MGM DVD logo on them. Very impressive. And this is a DVD from two thousand and. Uh, it's another five. It's a 1976 installment. Revenge of the Pink Panther. And last but not least, the trail of Pink Panther. Trail of the Pink Panther, that is. Um, this is a... Uh, well, this is just a collection of outtakes from that, uh, from, uh, from when Peter Sellers was alive, and they were edited, hastily re-edited after his, uh, death. And probably should have stayed on the cutting room floor. If you ask me. Next one is, uh... Um, uh, Rocky, Rock, uh, Rocky Trouble feature with the first three Rocky movies. 
I don't have four or five on DVD or Balboa or uh, any of the spinoffs. I heard Creed was good though. This DVD is from 2010, so we're on to the Fox distributed uh, MGM DVDs. And as you can see, they're all repackagings. The Rocky was the first two for 2004 repacks, and the third one is a 2001 or 2 repack. Uh, or a DVD that was repackaged here. <clears throat> Next one is The Princess Bride. Again, this time it's a 19. 2010 DVD. A 2010 DVD. The MGM 90th anniversary card for this inside. Nine years of extraordinary filmmaking, apparently. And uh, it's a reprint of a 2000 DVD, I think. Given the stock number, it's definitely 2000 at least. Next, Moonstruck, the deluxe edition, with Sharon Nicholas Cage. Uh, Life, Family, Love. And this is a 2006 release. This is a very good film if you haven't seen it. Got a nice picture of the moon there. Next is The Black Stallion and The Black Stallion Returns. Oh. It's a 2008 release. Easy to this there. And Legally Blonde 1 and 2 with a Reese Witherspoon in there. 2014 DVD. As 2006 printing for both of these inside, but both of them are reprints of earlier DVDs. This one is a reprint of the 2001 DVD, and this one's a reprint of the 2003 DVD. Then the last of the main MGM DVDs that I have that comes in this uh, case that's not on the living room shelf is the collector's edition of the Pink Panther from 2008, uh, and it's a reprinting of a 2005 disc. Comes in a nice pink uh, case, and this didn't have artwork attached to it when I got it. And then I'm going back in the living room for Mr. Brooks with uh, Kevin Costner, Demi Moore, Dane Cook, and William Hart. This is a DVD from 2007. One well, last MGM DVDs to be released before they went bust. It's got the, uh, here's the disc there. It's got the FBI anti-piracy warning on it, as a lot of Fox distributed DVDs did. And finally, my uh, only non-US MGM item. This is an Australian VHS of Victor Victoria from back when MGM teams were distributed over there by CEO. I have no idea what this release dates to. And there's nothing put on the other parts of the box. Which way? Up. Oh, oh, just open it. See? This only comes with an end label. And it's rated them for mature audiences. This is a Blake Edwards film starring Julie Andrews, of course. That is it for my MGM VHS and DVD collection. MGM and MGM related VHS and DVD collection. It's a bit shorter than the other two, uh, than the other VHS collection related videos. VHS and DVD collection related videos, but I got through it. At least I managed to get through it in uh, two parts instead of just uh, four or five. And that is it. 
that's the entire shelf. That's what the entire shelf of my main tapes looks like. I'll see you in the next video.